I'm John from Proper Printing and I start this video with a, uh, a big announcement. I've put a, uh, a hexagon hole in here with a nut so you don't have to use a screwdriver or anything that I have shown in the first video uh, to hold the nut. Uh, now it still is in place. And yeah, that I didn't come up with this uh, earlier. It was uh, very easy to do. Yeah. But my next version, I'm going to upload it on Thingiverse. It has this uh, hexagon hole in it, and it, it must be a lot easier to uh, to add this to your printer. So, well, this video has uh, two subjects. One is uh, how I add the the laser engraver to the swappable. Uh, tool change I've created in my uh, last video. Uh, I place a link somewhere here. Uh, I've made a, a quick tool change with a D sub connector with a hole in the center. Uh, I used the female uh, side of that connector on the tool side because you can, like this, use a regular sub D connector and connect uh, the male part to it. It's b uh, more available and it's a lot cheaper. The two subjects. Uh, uh, where this video is about that was one so the laser itself and the second one you have also seen it already uh, before the intro is that um, I can laser engrave uh, my 3d printed parts uh, yeah I didn't know it was uh, it was possible but it turned out it uh, it is possible I only tried this with uh, this carbon fiber uh, nylon filament because it's uh, dark and I don't think it will work on lighter filaments and because it has carbon in it uh, I think that re uh, yeah, gives the, this result oh wait I have to start my printer I have to check if uh, my printer starts well and then I will continue with this uh, story um, here's the the wiring diagram I've used in my previous uh, video and I use this wire wiring diagram to uh, to connect the laser to this uh, normal sub D connector. Obviously you don't need this, uh, this filament. I've connected the laser to the part fan and uh, I've disconnected the, uh, the fan from the laser. I just cut the, those wires because uh, yeah, I thought it was a bit too tricky to desolder them and it was hard to reach so I just cut them and uh, connected those to the cold end fan. So now this is running indefinitely so it keeps this unit cooler than it uh, would normally do. And I've placed a 100k resistor to this uh, thermistor uh, connections. So the printer thinks, yeah, it's just a, a simulation. The printer thinks it's at uh, 25 degrees, so it uh, doesn't uh, go into error state. Now I can easily connect the laser engraver to my printer. And I'm going to laser this material. At this moment, the printer is printing a new version of this because, well, you will find out later in this video, I screwed up again with uh, laser engraving. To determine the, uh, the tool center point, I will create an, uh, an X or a cross. I use that cross to center the, uh, the laser engraver and an extrude of one layer and that's 0.2 millimeters there it is yeah I will set this location to uh, 100 uh, in X and 100 in Y direction because that's uh, easy to work with it's there at absolute 100 100 okay so I will print a small X uh, here and then I know the exact uh, position of the uh, of the nozzle at 100 uh, in X and 100 in Y. After I've done that, then I can uh, add laser engraver and uh, go to that center and uh, notate those uh, coordinates. And then I will know the position of the the laser relative to the uh, to the 3D printer nozzle. It uh, takes zero hours and zero minutes. I don't think I have to make a time lapse for this one. Okay, you can see here the small marking. And 
and uh, I will center the uh, laser engraver to that. I'm first going to home the z-axis and then go up 100 millimeters uh, because that is the, the z-offset I use for, uh, for laser engraving. And the display immediately shows an error. Now add the laser engraver. Nice. I can just reconnect it. And the temperature of the tool is uh, 25 degrees. Home the XY. And I can turn on the, uh, the laser. Don't forget your glasses. I put the span feed to a value of 2 and then I'll just yeah, use the XY to, uh, to go to that cross and I don't have to remember its position I think it's safe to say that this is dead center and I can just write the values down which are uh, shown on the display ok you can see the values X117.1 and y is 115.9 I will uh, write these values down and you can see that the offset uh, relative to the, uh, the printer nozzle is 17.1 uh, and 15.9 the laser and um, yeah, continue on, uh, on Inkscape I'm going to pretend uh, that I've done this uh, many times before so uh, let's start um, yeah, to get this into Inkscape, uh, I'm going to make a, a 2D file uh, from it. And it's at uh, the right position already. Scale 1 to 1, that's important. Create an output PDF. Uh, I'm going to open Inkscape, drag the PDF to here. Uh, okay. And here it is. Um, Ctrl Shift G. Let's ungroup and group this. Okay, now I can delete this. The width and height are uh, the size of the build plate. And now I have to determine how it's uh, placed on the bed. Uh, X and Y offset, those are the values. Yeah, this is the position on which the printer is already printing at this moment. Yeah, I'll write those values down. Uh, note so x272 and y minus 30.31 I'm now going to place this manually to the bottom left corner as precise as I can so this is the uh, 0 0.0 uh, in Inkscape. The actual position at this moment is this. So I will open the calculator. If you have um, a smarter method for this, uh, please let me know in the comments because uh, yeah, I'm uh, interested in, uh, <laughs> in a better solution. So the X is 272 minus 154 so 118, 142.29 minus 30.31. Uh, I will make that 112. Okay, let's go to Inkscape. We have the X118. And this one is 112. And it should be centered now. Looks good, right? Uh, I'm going to check if it's still printing well. No, it's not printing well. It's printing. Perfect. This is the position of, uh, of the nozzle. But we have determined the, uh, the tool center point of the laser engraver. Which has an offset of 17.1 and 15.9 uh, I've created this Excel sheet it's not uh, the most complicated Excel sheet but uh, I'm planning 
to use this for every tool I'm going to make. So if I want to make a pen plotter, which I'm going to do in the future, that will probably have a, uh, a different offset. I think that it can just as, e as easy be 17 and 16. That makes sense. Um, I'm first going to insert uh, the logo. I want to. Um, I want to engrave. Okay, that's centered. Um, move it up like this. Just add the values of the Excel spreadsheet. It's 17 in the x direction and 16 in the y direction. Um, just to be sure that I'm not going to make an error. I'm going to do this with the calculator, 135, and the other was 16, so 112 plus 16, 128, so that should be the position of the laser. And I'm going to create a G-code, yes, now I will wait for, uh, for the printer to finish, and then I can... Um, add this, uh, well, add the laser engraver to it and start laser engraving the, uh, the 3D printed part and make a very cool intro video The print came out fantastic, and the position of the engraving is perfect. But I still have to do it again because I've made the same mistake as I have done in the previous video about laser engraving. It looks like I'm not going to learn from my mistakes and I again forgot about the thickness of the part and the engraving it looks terrible so I'll just print it again and engrave it again so I will wait for that and if the print is finished you laser it you can see everything and it's super cool and then uh, we'll move on and it's very hot outside and this guy is getting a beer the result is awesome as you can see here thanks a lot for watching and if you have liked this video then uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already then uh, well you help this uh, this channel and uh, to to grow big yeah, I hope you have enjoyed uh, watching this and um, well, <laughs> we'll see you, we see each other next time for sure. Ciao. Aye, not ciao. I'm not Spanish. I just say uh, doei. <laughs>